How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Tim and today we're going to give you a rundown of some of the most common causes of gearbox problems such as harsh gear shifting and loss of gear selection on Audi vehicles fitted with the Zero B5 S-Tronic gearbox from 2009 onwards. So, with most S-Tronic transmission faults, you will notice a gearbox malfunction warning light on the instrument cluster. The first thing you want to do in this instance is carry out a diagnostic scan. We recommend using VCDS, VAS or similar diagnostic systems to do this. If you find any of these fault codes stored either individually or a combination of a few, this can indicate a fault with the driving mode sensor module. The sensor module incorporates two transmission input speed sensors and the drive position sensor. This is responsible for determining the selector lever position, park, reverse, neutral, drive or sport. Other failures include the S-Tronics mechatronic unit. This unit is responsible for the actuation of the dual clutch, the seven forward gears and the reverse gear. When faulty, the repair bill for replacing the mechatronic unit with a new one can easily creep into the thousands. When this part fails, it can cause a wide range of drivability issues for the vehicle, including no reverse gear, no gears above first gear or not changing gear, vehicle being in limp home mode, or harsh or jerky gear shifting or banging into gear. These symptoms may be accompanied by the EPC warning light or a gearbox malfunction warning message on the instrument cluster. If left unresolved, mechatronic failures can lead to unrepairable gearbox damage. A diagnostic scan using VCDS or VAS may also reveal some of these fault codes. There's a link down in the description to a list of all the known fault codes relating to mechatronic failure. The manufacturer's advice is to replace the faulty components with brand new parts, which is going to cost thousands of pounds. And it's very likely that the OEM replacement parts are just going to have the same design flaws as the original mechatronic unit. Here at ECU Testing, we have developed an extensive remanufacturing solution for this mechatronic unit. We have identified internal hardware failures with both the electronic control module and the mechanical valve body. Our rebuild solution fully eradicates these failures, as well as other design flaws. So, to summarise, if your Audi is experiencing gearbox problems such as jerky or total lack of gear selection, and it's fitted with the Zero B5 S-Tronic gearbox, the likelihood is that the Mechatronic is faulty. A brand new unit from Audi is extremely expensive, doesn't eradicate the original design flaws and only comes with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. In addition, a new unit would require programming to your vehicle, adding more ramp time and labour costs to the already extensive repair bill. Sending your control module for a rebuild could not be simpler. Just fill out our online test form with details of your fault and select your preferred collection date. Ensure that the module is safely packaged to prevent any damage that could occur during transportation. Once we receive your unit, it is then scheduled to an engineer, who will fully test your control module to confirm the faults. You will then be notified of the test results along with a full rebuild quotation. You can make payment instantly by credit or debit card or via PayPal. As soon as payment has been made, your engineer will be informed and your unit will be rebuilt. It will then be retested to ensure the full eradication of the fault. Your unit is then shipped back to you via next day tracked courier service. <laughs> 